Okay, so the New York Yankees are making more moves with pitchers. This time they've acquired Jameson Taiwan from the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, they acquired him for four prospects. Um, a few of these are ranked in the prospect ranks. Um, so let me just get let me just pull those up and name them to you guys. Um, Pittsburgh received pitcher Miguel Yajir. I butchered that big time. I I'm, I apologize for that. They also acquired another uh, prospect pitcher in Ronzi Contreras. They acquired an infielder, Michael Estado, and outfielder, Kanan Smith. I'm sorry, guys. I'm definitely butchering these names. Um, Miguel, Miguel Yahir is a Yankees number 15 prospect, and uh, Ronzi Contreras is, uh, Contreras is a number 19, and Kanan Smith is number 21 uh, in Yankees prospect uh, rankings. Uh, as for James Taiwan, he was a number two overall pick in 2010 by the Pirates. He won 14 games in 2018, but only made seven appearances in 2019 and missed all of last season with Tommy John surgery on his pitching elbow. Uh, this was reported by the ESPN News Services. So I'll start with you on this one first, Mario. What do you think of this trade? Well, first off, congratulations to Jameson Taiwan on joining probably the biggest sports market in sports history. Like, let's just put it that way. That's what the Yankees are. They're the biggest sports markets in history. They're probably one of the most prestigious teams in history. As much as we're Red Sox fans, we have to admit it. We can't We can't just reject history and what they've, what they've had. Um, but, yeah, Jamison Taiwan, I remember this was a guy who was extremely hyped. He was um, he was extremely hyped coming into the league. And, I mean, really, he hasn't, he hasn't really found that heat, you know? I'm not saying he hasn't lived up to the hype, but he really hasn't gotten a chance to live up to the hype. And I hope that the Yankees can use him efficiently so he can. You know what I'm saying? That's what I hope. Because I don't hope, because even though we're Red Sox fans, I don't hope for a player to kind of, to go down the downhill. I don't hope for that. Hope for that. You know, this is their career we're talking about. Um, with that being said, can I say this is a steal for the Yankees? No. Why? Again, it's the same reason why what I it's the same thing I say when the NFL trades a guy for picks. We never know what they're going to turn into. Okay? Out of these prospects you named, you never know which one could be the next great. You just never know. So we got to wait on that, you know? Because I can say it's a steal right now, and then five years down the line, um, I'll just use one of the easy ones. Uh, Kanan Smith ends up turning into an MVP. Then is, then is this a steal anymore? No, because you gave, got rid of an MVP. So... With that being said, I'm not saying Kanan Smith is going to be an MVP. I'm not saying any of these guys are going to be MVPs. They could possibly become MVPs. You know, you just never know. You never know what these guys are capable of doing. So with that being said, I mean, congratulations to Jamison Tylon. Congratulations to the New York Yankees. As for the Pittsburgh Pirates, think about it this way. The amount of guys that they have given up this year, right? Think about how many prospects they just took. Now, we don't know what they're going to turn into, Nate. Just remember that. We're looking at the Pirates getting rid of this guy and this guy and this guy and that guy. But think about what they can turn into with all these prospects that they're tra- that they're getting out of trades. You know what I'm saying? Like we're talking about, like, and it's the same thing in the NFL. We were talking about um, the Texans a few a couple of years ago, and they were like, the Miami Dolphins are just getting rid of their whole team. They just got rid of Laramie Tunsil, and they just got rid of this. Now who has the last laugh? Because the Dolphins are about to become a playoff team, and the Texans are in rebuild mode. Why are they about to become a playoff team? Because they traded the guys that they wanted to trade in order to get these draft picks that can turn into something. Think about that, Nate. The Dolphins were a step away from making the playoffs, and now they got the number three pick. That doesn't happen. Like, you know, it doesn't happen often. So with that being said, going back to the baseball topic, Pirates have all these prospects. It's just a matter of time of one of them turning into a very great player. And I'm, I'm dying to see how the future in Pittsburgh is going to turn out. I'm I'm dying to see how Jamison Tylon is going to play in New York. I think this is going to be his real chance to play. I think this is going to be his real chance to actually show what he's actually capable of. Because, like you said, Jamison Tylon has not had a lot of experience in the in the MLB. You're talking about 2018. He only made seven appearances. Um, he won 14 games with the Pirates. Correct. He won 14 games in 2018 and only made seven appearances in 2019. All right. All right. So with the Pirates, that first, that 2018 year with the Pirates where he won 14 games, we kind of seen a glimpse of what he had, you know? But we didn't see the whole thing. Now with the New York Yankees, we will see that. And I mean, with that with that being said, I mean, best of luck to Jamison Tylon, best of luck to the New York Yankees, and best of luck to the Pittsburgh Pirates' future. Right, right. And uh, 
Um, obviously, congratulations to James, uh, James and Tyler on New York Yankees. Um, just like every guy that's coming off of injuries, the one concern is how he's gonna how uh, James James and Tyler right. gonna perform. He had he had uh, Tommy John surgery on his throwing elbow, which um um that that's a big deal, yeah. you know. If it, that's your throwing arm and you had to have surgery on it, you, you know that's a big deal. But he did take off twenty twenty. Uh, also, maybe he had enough rest and enough time to heal for him to be um, back in the form. So you know, you never know. Um, but that's just my that's my uh, number one concern about Jamison Tylon is is is, is he going to go back into his form like he was a couple years ago? Um, as for the Pittsburgh Pirates, man, see, I don't know, I I don't know, and I'm I'm split. I'm fifty fifty with the Pirates, and here's why: they've been doing this for years. All right. They've been giving up players. They've been getting prospects. But the problem with these prospects is that they don't get properly developed. They have all these top prospects in the league now. And I'm, and again, I'm curious to see what their future is going to look like. But going back to what I've been seeing this year and the years before that and all of that, they got all these prospects and they're still I, – I can't tell if it's because of the players – or if the the um the coaches aren't properly developing these players, maybe both. I don't know, but but this is something the Pirates have been doing for years, and and I'm gonna be honest with you, Mar. It, it seems to be something that's backfiring against them almost. They get in all these prospects, you know, top ten, top fifteen. They don't turn out to what they're supposed to be. Am I saying that's what's gonna happen here? Absolutely not. But maybe something will change, and I think that's what the Pirates need to focus on. You're getting all these prospects. Now you gotta develop them. You gotta develop them correctly, which is something they've been struggling with the last few seasons. But as always, you know, there's always you know hope for the future, and I and I hope they do um, develop these prospects the way they should be, and I, and I hope the best of luck for the Pittsburgh Pirates as well. Right, and I mean, and just kind of going off of what you said, I absolutely 100% agree with you. Um, my stance with the prospects it still stands. And that's, but here's the thing, in order for, for me to call the Pirates winners in this trade, they got to change something when, when developing these prospects. So you're 100% right. They don't develop these prospects. And if you, with the right development, you just never know who could turn into who. So, I mean, right. it's up to them to develop these prospects that you traded star guys for. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? You got rid of Josh Bell. You traded Josh Bell and got prospects for him. If I'm if I'm correct, so yeah, that's correct. With that being said, you need to make sure these prospects end up becoming what they're supposed to be becoming. You, know, you develop them for to their full potential. That's something that the Pirates are not doing. You're absolutely right, but it's something that they need to do in order to win these trades. And I do wish them the best of luck, and I do wish the Yankees the best of luck, especially with Jamison Tylon. I wish him the best of luck as well. But as but I just want to end this by saying the Pirates need to fully develop these prospects. Right, and and the best example of them not fully developing a prospect and them getting traded to a different team is Garrett Cole. Look at how bad he was in his first few seasons with the Pirates. He goes to the Astros and he becomes the best pitcher in baseball. Right, great. Um, and and Josh Bell could be that guy. He did actually show us into what he could do back in 2019. Well, well, Josh Bell was already yeah. Josh Bell showed signs of signs of yeah an all star player. I absolutely agree. But with another team, you just never know how many all star games he could hit. Oh yeah, of course. You're absolutely right, and you're absolutely right. That's that's on the Pirates for not reaching that full potential. He got they got a little bit out of Josh Bell, but they didn't get that full potential out of Josh Bell. Or it's a possibility they might have not. Maybe the poss- There's also a possibility that Josh Bell's best season was in 2019, right? Yeah, and that's about it. That's all we're gonna ever see from Josh Bell. That's also a possibility. Is it a possibility I want to see? No, because I like Josh Bell, but. Don't, that is a possibility as well. But if there is a possibility that he has more ye- all-star years to come, then that's just another example of the Pirates not reaching full potential with their prospects. Absolutely. But uh, with that said, you know, we don't want to wish you know, a bad on anybody. So good luck to the right. Pittsburgh Pirates in the future. As for Jamison Tylon, congratulations to him and the New York Yankees, and we're excited to see how this goes.